gotta get new glasses. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Introducing the alt-left. So... Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Introducing all left. All right. There is an uh, there is a lot going on in the news about the alt left. Donald Trump said it as a joke during a conference, and there's also a crazy website, Alt Left Watch. The only magazine to get it right was from the week. Quote: As best I can tell, the very first people to use the term alt left was a tiny faction of the alt right who favor more left leaning economic policy. However, this did not catch on. Quote. The alt left is indeed tiny, but I believe the only person willing to give the ultimate matter matter on the issue is Brandon Adamson. However, if an alt left scene is to grow, then it can't fall under the same corrupt and immoral nature of the current left we have today. As for as of right now, I denounce the alt right after the failure of the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. It's no longer about queers associating with Boyd Rice or Deaf and June. It's a clusterfuck of misguided LARPy teenagers and intersectional identitarians. The latter group is hostile towards Asianarianism. Furthermore, it is now cool and hip to be a Tumblr chick and say you are not, you are red pilled. As I said before, the Cool Kids Club, KKK, oh, there's a little typo, I gotta fix that, are responsible for this. And each individual is guilty of whoring oneself to be cooler than the other alt-right guy, known as the Purity Spiral. I won't name names, but I know some of these asshats. Next time I see these cool kids, I'm gonna debate, yell at you, or fuck you up. But cool kids are everywhere. White kids from the ages of 17 to 28 are responsible for subs hitchster douchebaggery. And the coming tide of the alt-left is no expectation. Now, I'm not saying I'm not guilty of such hipster culture. I do jokingly promote it through my social media and through AsianArianism.com. However, we are fighting for metapolitics. And the current metapolitical tide is with the misguided white and Asian youth. Whoever wins this intellectual discourse on the internet creates the obnoxious punk house party kids we see in the metrosexual cities. Asian Arianism plants the seeds in all areas, introverted and extroverted. There will be Asian Aryan Chads and Asian Aryan Virgins. If you want to use that, I mean, if you want to use that terminology. And there will be less hostility towards this peaceful movement that prefers to be with people like themselves in an age of post liberalism and multiculturalism. The youth of the alt right is foolish to consider throwing their opponents into gas chambers and making excuses like. I'm gay and I'm just like you. My name is Peter Stavosiki, whatever. Identitarian. This will only further divide the alt right as Nazis and create an entire new generation hostile against them. That's why there needs to be a new focus on an alt left movement. The alt left movement will not be dec will not be the decadent left wing or antifa we know from our culture. The alt left will have a concrete foundation in these golden rules. One. The left is a Western experience, is not compatible with non-whites, and is rather a term to describe the interests of the people and their own liberty. It is suggestive rather than definitive. 2. The alt-left is a trinity about friends, family, and freedom. The alt-left fights for universal friendship, whoever that may we may associate and live our lives with. The alt-left will protect our families, private or public and we will advocate nature, natural order of both the patriarchy and matriarchy, along with tradition. And the alt-left will fight for freedom, the desire we feel as human beings that wish to transcend the boundaries of human nature. Now, we are not transhumanist and feel that it is immoral to be one. For obvious reasons, take a look at the stupid fad of the transgender rights and the progressive stack. 3. The alt-left is starting over again at year zero. Everything know as a left wing will be destroyed. The French Revolution was a mistake or a misunderstanding. Communism goes against human nature. And the Frankfurt New Left School is wrong 
and a slow, honest defeat for the left to give up and create cultural Marxism. We don't associate with Zizek, Derrida, Foucault, Althusser, Deleuze, and any kooky postmodern philosopher that is talented in rhetorical pseudoscience creative writing. It is important that the alt-left is critical of everything that the left stands for, and creating new culture and institutions beyond what we know as the transhumanist mind virus. The movement will be peaceful and voluntary. Vol voluntary. Blech. Four. The alt-left is not about social justice, progress, or equality. The alt-left is against egalitarianism, root and branch. Equality is not a good and it is a complete ideology of its own that is often mistaken by a normie as the left. The alt-left will be completely removed from egalitarianism and focus on friends, family, and freedom in its own right. 5. The alt-left will not be hostile against the right wing. It will, however, be critical of the trad fetishization and the close-minded conservative issues they radically uphold. But the alt-left is about ending the spiritual war between left first right. The alt-left wishes to create a movement that is against de de dictionary definitions. There are too many normies that associate with the left and spread cultural Marxist values. Okay. They don't even know what they actually side. They don't know what actual side they are on. And <laughs> six. The alt-left is planning for a future after the multiculturalism, diversity, and postmodern world. It believes that ethno-nationalism is a possible surrogate and cure for egalitarianism, and the clergy ends the terrible clergy plan. The alt-left is against the clergy plan program as well. The alt-left is acting as a responsible parent and gambling on a future that is distant and away from the paw society we suffer through now. Now these are just some points that what we what the alt left should stand for. If only we have more bloggers advocating for such a movement, we could have more peace and less violence in today's racial and political climate. But again, the spiritual divide between left and right is still still conquers us as a people. Our common enemy is the globalists that want to erase our identities. We want to be with people like ourselves and have our own culture culture and institutions. I believe Asian Arianism is neither left or right wing, but the alt left would be in favor of letting Asian Arianism happen, whatever name it may take in the coming Eurasian anime future. And that's my introduction to the alt left. Bye.